There is a word that my five-year-old niece doesn't know exists. It's something she doesn't battle with and it's never escaped her lips. It's a four-letter, one-syllable, simple word, hate. Yet it carries so much historical, political, emotional weight that shaped our beliefs, changed what we see, and made us envy. It's made us blind to truth, to find excuse, cause lies and abuse, so our minds can't choose, designed, so we lose. Lose control of reality, lose trust, and lose ourselves. Like poisonous gas, it wraps around our lungs so we can't breathe or yell for help. So she asks me, what is hate? It's made men turn on each other, cock the gun and hold at gunpoint. It's made scapegoats so we blame folks for our false while our fingers point. It's made innocent lives grow closed eyes while enclosed in a mask of lies by making teenage girls cry because their body size will never suit your eyes. It's made us wish we were someone else. Force us into plastic surgery, so racing cultural history and urge video imagery, our burglar row and identity. It's tricked us into believing that we're too fat, too ugly, and not white enough. It racially profiles and force people to sit in the back of the bus. It's made men call women bitches, who in turn call other women bitches. It's burned bridges to the point where we don't know which is wrong or right. It's made us colorblind, only seeing black and white. Planting racism and bigotry from racial tensions and fights. Again, she asks me, what is hate? It's taught 18-year-old boys how to use a gun while in the same field stands five-year-old children who are taught to shoot someone. It's made victims of abusive fathers do the same to their own daughters. It's made men boost their masculinity by exploiting another's femininity. It's built glass ceilings, internment camps, nooses, and not allowed signs. It's raised narrow-minded babies who so maybe they'll never see past their own kind. It controls the schools, the media, through propaganda, teaching us the enemy when we don't question or raise our hand up. Still, she asks me, what is hate? It's caused school shootings, injustice, rape, and genocide. It's made innocent lives die and innocent mothers and wives cry. It screams of words, fuck you, bitch, stupid, and no homo. It's a KKK logo, it's a history book's photo. It's written Jim Crow laws, ending in removal in the Asian exclusion acts. It's just leaving our past, one graves a cage in our path. It's made categories of fears appear, making us wish for nothing, same, making us live to clean the mirrors, playing into perception, it's 500 years of slavery when oppression, parents failing to give their children direction. It's confessions behind closed doors of elections, the politicians never mention. It's Literacy prevention, a Filipino better on offension, stereotypes when dimension, character inventions, all being fucked by white supremacy's erection. So what is hate? It's something that my five-year-old knees can't feel. For her, it's a man-made social construct, so it isn't real. It's an empty word, insignificant, powerless, and nameless. Now I'm just waiting for the rest of the world to follow, so we don't know what hate is. Let's no longer know what hate is. Ruby Ibarra, bow.